Tony D and Little Jones somewhere in the house. And this is Transformers 1, a screenwriter's rant, starring Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, John Hamm, and a bunch of other celebrities doing the cartoon thing. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 14. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I used to be a huge Transformers fan. I really enjoyed the cartoon. At this point, though, at this point, I mean, you want to talk about an IP that they have seemingly milked. Uh, now they're going back to the origins of Megatron and Optimus Prime's battle. Um, sure. Sure, why not? Scarlett Johansson in it, is in it as one of the characters. That was a legit character from back in the day. She was on... It was a female character they introduced in the past. Although why she never made it to Earth, they never really revealed, I don't think. But, you know... It's a bunch of goofy robots battling it out. And uh, the story is, uh, it drops in September, by the way. September 20th. Oh, Steve Buscemi, I didn't see him. Lawrence Fishburne, John Hand. Oh, my God. Keegan-Michael Key. Brian Tyree Henry, I don't know him. Chris Hemsworth, I think, is doing Optimus Prime. Sounds like him trying to do the dude's voice. I mean, okay, so the premise of the movie is Optimus and uh, Megatron were, were best friends before they became uh, Transformers. Because there's like a process. See, here they are. Oh, we're best friends. <laughs> but then the power goes to Megatron's head. He becomes evil and Optimus Prime stays good. So first act. We see them as brothers, and they're great guys, and they, they, they're, they're always palling around. And then, um, you know, they're, they're at the bottom of the pecking order in the robot planet, which was voiced by Orson Welles in one of the cartoon movies, by the way. So um, then something happens, and then they go to some ancient tunnel in uh, their planet, and they're given the power to transform. And a lot of power, apparently. Um, for Megatron, it goes to his head. For Optimus, he wants to do all sorts of nice things. So, um, at first, they try to make it work, but it won't because uh, Megatron's evil and he calls himself a Decepticon. And then uh, that forces Optimus to become the Autobots and fight him. And then third act, they fight him and... Uh, uh, maybe they lead it up until the moment where they travel to Earth. That was the most interesting part in the original cartoon because the opening of the cartoon is the uh, Autobots and the Decepticons are fighting each other in a spaceship battle and they, cra they both crash land on Earth and they're buried for millions of years. And then millions of years later, the computer wakes up and starts fixing everybody and that's why they look like cars and trucks from the modern day because it 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 doesn't have the right schematics or something because of the damage so it uses the sch schematics of the local technology and that was kind of a clever thing but like man they've just put they've just expanded this way beyond anything i think it was designed to do will it be good i don't know man I'm just so burned out on making IPs more important than they are. It's like, okay, that's the origin of Optimus. I, I kind of already knew that, and I, I kind of wasn't all that interested, even though I liked the character. You know, like they did it in an episode of the show. They went back and showed you what life was like on Cybertron and how they how he became Optimus. I think that was Megatron in it. I, I guess he was. But, like, how many times are we going to do this? You know? How many times are we going to roll this out? Pardon the pun. It's like, it's time, I think, to move on. Maybe do a different story. Maybe just do something original. I, 
I can't. You know, again, I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I mean, if you're a Transformers nut, but like I was, and even I'm just like, nah, <laughs> no thanks. I've I've already seen as much Transform. I mean, I feel like I've been saturated with Transformers stuff. But I guess if you put up enough money and <clears throat> celebrity into anything, it'll make some money. So, I mean, this is all CGI or animated, so maybe it'll do real well financially. I, I don't know. I don't really understand the need for getting celebrity voices. You know, part of seeing the celebrity actors is they're good actors and you see them. Like, I'm not going to see Chris Hemsworth in this or Scarlett Johansson, who I really like to see. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm not so sure why I would pay money to go see this, but, you know, you could say, well, it's for kids, but they, kids don't care. Kids don't know these people. So, what what are what are the names for? The adults? Most adults aren't going to see this thing. Most adults will look at it and, and go, "Well, yeah, the kids want to see it." I, I I think most adults, if they don't have kids, would just be like, "Well, I'll wait for streaming, maybe." If I, if you're a, a transformer nut, I guess you go see it, but I, I don't see the pressing issue, especially since it's a prequel. It's a prequel. But okay. Maybe. I, I look, I'm not even knocking the quality of the movie. I'm just saying it, it's just too much. It's it, Can we not move on to something new? Can we not take all this technology and fame and money and put it into some concept that people will go, ooh, that's cool. Let me Let me try that out. How about a franchise that was designed to be a franchise from the ground up? You could do that, Hollywood. You could actually hire writers and creators to actually build a franchise with possibilities, you know, way beyond the first movie and still make it good enough that it would stand on its own. Uh, I'm reminded of Jack Kirby in his later days when he did um, a bunch of comics for Tops and he... He really laid the groundwork that you could have done 500 issues of the comic easy. If you took a IP like that, and that's never been made into a movie, you could do all kinds of crazy movies and TV shows based on just his premises alone. You could take an idea like that, as opposed to running this out again, but hey, I guess they'll sell toys, but the other one would have sold toys too. Anyhow... Uh, it's just exhausting to me. And that's it for me, Tony D, Little Jones, somewhere in the house. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry to rain on your Transformers parade if you're a Transformers fan. Uh, if you're my fan, uh, catch me at the Alpaca Farm today at 7 p.m. And at some point, I'll be doing my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Um, don't forget the live stream on Sunday, if you'd like to yell at me in person for my uh, various views. We'll see you tomorrow.